Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict. And it's a pretty cold and gloomy day today here in the UK. And I'm still currently off work with what's now thought to be tendonitis in my wrists, which is a bit of a nightmare. But what can you do? I'm still awaiting some more tests. Despite all that, I'm still in a great mood because the Ginger Jungle have kindly sent me another box of surprise plants. Thank you so much, I'm so grateful and I cannot wait to see what's in the box. I haven't got a clue. It's a complete surprise. If you haven't already, take a look at the Ginger Jungle's website. They specialise in rare and unusual houseplants. They ship within the UK and the EU, but even if you're outside of those countries, you can still take a look, get a bit of inspiration, get some ideas for your wish list, and I'll be happy to help you source those plants as I follow quite a lot of plant shops around the world. Okay, no more talking, let's get this box open. I've been waiting for it patiently all day. I'm a little bit anxious because the temperature dropped down to about zero last night, so I'm really hoping that the plants are okay. Sorry if I'm hidden behind the box here. I have been informed that they've been shipped with some extra insulation to keep them warm. Right, I'm gonna move a cushion out the way to fit the box next to me. This one is an Epipremnum happy leaf. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm really intrigued. Wow, beautiful. Oh, that is stunning. Wow, look at the variegation on it. Oh, he feels pretty cold, but he looks perfect. Some of the leaves are almost pure white. It's so beautiful. There does appear to be a mixture of block and speckled variegation. So just like I did in my last unboxing video, I'm going to go onto the Ginger Jungle website and just have a quick look at any care instructions they've provided for this plant. Apparently, this beauty was discovered a couple of years ago as a mutation and has now been developed as a new kind. These are pretty limited, so I would grab one quick. Not only are they variegated, they are really easy to care for. Always a bonus. Grows best in medium to bright light, not direct. Keep the soil moist at all times but never soaking wet and allow the top of the soil to dry out slightly before watering. I would mist regularly and put on a pebble tray. Wow, I absolutely love it and I've never seen one of these before. I'm just going to put him over there. Okay, what's next? I'm so excited. This one is Skindapsis trabui. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. I do not have a clue what it is. Oh, it's so cute. What a gorgeous plant. I've never seen one of these before. Has anyone else got one of these? I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but the leaves are a really beautiful shimmery silver color. Let me have a look at the care instructions for this plant. So it says, I'm so excited, I actually have these in stock and I finally get to add one to my collection. I've been waiting for these for a very, very long time as they hardly come up for sale here in the UK. So I would definitely grab one quick as I only have a limited supply. This plant likes bright indirect light, but not direct sun as this will damage the lovely leaves. Keep the soil moist but not wet, allowing the top of the soil to dry out slightly before watering. I've been giving it a little water every 10 days. This will depend on your household environment and I would mist a few times a week. Wow, okay, so this is apparently a really rare plant. Probably why I've never heard of it or seen it before. That's awesome, thank you so much. So there's one plant left in the box. I am really excited to see what it is. It looks to be a little bit bigger than the other two. So let's get it out. Oh wow, this is a plant on my wish list. I really wanted this one. Oh, I'm so excited to see it. I've never seen one in real life. Oh.
It is an Alocasia cupria. Oh my God. That is amazing. Oh. That is absolutely stunning. It looks metallic, like it's been spray painted. Such a unique plant. I'm gonna have a look at the care instructions for this one. So the Alocasia cupria is also known as Red Secret. It has the most awesome deep red metallic foliage, which as the plant matures will become a beautiful deep green color. Give bright indirect light, this will help keep the color strong. That's interesting. Water weekly, keeping the soil moist, but always check if your plant needs watering first. Mist regularly and place on a pebble tray as these enjoy high humidity. I'm so excited to finally own one of these plants. Thank you so much. There's still another package in the box, which I've just noticed at the bottom. Okay, it says, Dear Marvin, happy Valentine's for next week. Love the ginger jungle. I'm, oh, that's so nice. That is adorable. Oh, thank you. Marv, got a little gift for you. Marv. Hello, you come to say hi? What is it? That is so sweet, thank you. For those that don't know what this plant is, it's a Hoya Kerry or Kerry Eye. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the unboxing as much as I did. I don't know about you, but I love watching people unboxing plants, especially if they don't know what's in the box. It gives you a bit of a plant fix, I feel. <laughs> Thanks again to the Ginger Jungle for sending me these amazing plants. I'm so grateful and it's really cheered me up. Thank you so much. Take care everyone. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye. You want to say bye?